today we woke up and said, what are we going to do? And you came up with the idea of... Going to the Greek town of Tarpon Springs. Never been here before, so we're just going to go tour it and see what happens. Let's go check it out. After doing some research, they said that there are, are quite a bit of parking places down here. So we found one. Um, the main little street is called... Dodecanese Boulevard. Yes, which is right over there. And there's this all day parking right next to the sponge factory, which we're gonna check out the sponge docks. And just so you know, it costs $10 to park here, but that's all day. So that is a really inexpensive place to park. Now we're walking closer to this little mural painted across the whole building. And I went to Greece in college. So what was that like? Six, six years ago, wow. And I'm looking forward to eating Greek food and really checking out this sponge and docks. It's all authentic. Like this originally like Greek immigrants came over and they kind of started this town because they saw that the sponges were really abundant in the waters around here and that's how they started kind of building this town which is why the sponges are so popular and it has really big Greek influence. Yeah and we might even buy a sponge today. They said they last like five years right? Mm -hmm. We'll see. Just kind of walking down the um can't even remember the name of this road. Dodecanese. Dodecanese street or boulevard or whatever it is just giving everybody a little tour of this little creek area oh yeah look at the street signs which have the greek above it there we go dodecanese um and this is kind of where the main area is at i'm excited they have a dolphin cruise Dolphin Adventure Island Cruise over there. Some live music playing. Some shirts. Now one restaurant we're looking at eating at when you search this area is called Hellas. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. Which is essentially Greece. Is That's that how people in Greece pronounce. That's what they call their country. Gotcha. And everybody has said that that is the best authentic place to eat here. So we're going to hopefully go there sometime today and continue with our sponge theme there's a sponge shack right there you can also go out on a sponge cruise oh, that would be fun Which, do you get to get your own sponges going on a sponge cruise i didn't really research it much huh across the road there is a sponge smiley face sponge diver supply and you want to go where in the soaps and sponges Soaps and sponges. Lori's soaps and sponges. Like olive oil Ooh, soap. Right. That's nice. You can already smell the soaps and oils from outside even. You want to go in there now? Yeah. All right. Let's head in here. They've got all these sponges. Wow. That would be that would be nice. $7.99. A wool sponge. Great for great for car washing. Great for bathing. Number one quality sponge. Oh yeah, those look those seem like some nice nice sponges. Tree sponge. I love these things. It's made from olive oil. Well, I bet that's just delicious. Yeah, these are nice. We've got a couple of those. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that's cool. What is Is that like it's soap a with a sponge? Oh, that smells delicious. Smell good? Oh yeah, that's nice. That smells really good. Those are those are neat. This bar of soap looks like um, Jello. Jello. It smells super good though. Peppermint, cucumber, mm -hmm. melon, coffee. Evan said. Coffee. Just the clean. Clean smell. Yeah. Oh, and here's some body scrubs. Eight 
$8.99 each. <laughs> no. And this is the store, Lori's. Then up above, they have these $40, $80 sponges. Wow. Those probably last 40 years. <laughs> Cucumber melon. Let's take a take a whiff of that. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like a over powering natural type mm -hmm. so it's not all super potent. Lavender, coconut, sweet pea. They've got some specials going on too. Oh look, are these cotton candy? What? Cotton candy. This smells oh man, I'm I might be I might be getting that. That is cotton candy and it smells exactly oh, like I might be getting that taking like a, a bath like with a that. Bath bomb. Throwing that in a bath. Oh, it does. It does. <laughs> it's awesome. Universal. That's what it oh, Universal bathrooms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This might be the cotton candy soap that <laughs> I'm gonna be walking away with at some time today. Probably the one with the sponge. And then they also have shower gel right here. I did get olive oil from Greece, and it was a gift to my mom, and she said it was the best olive oil she's ever had in her entire life. Wow. Very cool. I did find cotton candy body lotion. I'm gonna have to make a decision of, I'm gonna have to make a decision of which to actually get. Wow. And I thought this was funny. Monkey fart. <laughs> that's funny. If that's what a monkey fart smells like, then you know what? Not too bad. Like I mentioned a second ago, we'll come back to that store and get something on our way out so we don't have to carry it around in the heat all day. One of my favorite things in Greece was gelato. So, mango to be specific. So if I can find a dessert place like this that has mango gelato, I'm also going to get some of that. Walking past this building and they've got a sponge, what would you say, a tile mosaic right there on the side of the building. We've got some wine tasting. Wow, that looks like a this looks like a Greek market center. Wow. Got craft beer tap house, a giant shark over there. Entertainment. Sponge diving boat. It's like some live music getting ready to come up. Funnel cakes. Candy barrel. I don't I don't know, we're just I'd say walk around the other way to get a lap around. Let's pull over here for a second and see. He's got some CDs for sale, Cal Morris. This is such a neat little area. They've got more shops this way. I don't know how many shops we're actually gonna go in today because again, this is our first time here. There's qu quite a bit going on. Um, I know we definitely wanna go see the sponge stuff and we also wanna get some authentic food so I can compare it to actual Greek food, but you can just see all the different shops they have around. We have some kind of Greek statue back here. Now, is it Greek or Roman? I was going to say it's probably meant to be a Greek statue, but <laughs> something I learned in Greece that I shared with you. Would you like to share with the world? Uh, you got to explain it. I don't quite remember the rules. It's, if it's a full nude statue that is going to be Greek. If it has any bit of clothing on it or, it's covering. Gonna, or covering, it's a Roman statue. I think probably sometimes... Yes, I think sometimes though, as far as the U.S. goes, to be family friendly, this is a Greek statue, just not following the traditional Greek statues like in Greece. For some reason, this little walkway is so cool. It's probably it's what Santorini looks like, but again, I don't have any experience there because I didn't get to go to that it's one. Just on but our list. it's on our list. We have the Florida store. It's got some Florida items in there. It feels like you're just not even in Florida right now. The sock exchange. Tarpon spring shirts. Oh, here you go. Here's some 
Tarpon Springs. Look at that. That's cool. Tarpon Springs Greek looking shirt. This place has happy hour $3 margaritas. And I could be wrong here, but I'm pretty sure we all pronounce it. It could just be Americanized, but the Aegean Sea. And you're looking at the back of this. That's We got to take a ferry on that sea when I was in Greece. And this guy's still playing and he's amazing. We're gonna go head by this shark. What does this diving boat say? Built in 1935 of cypress and pine, used for sponge fishing until 1943, used during World War II by US Navy. And then this big Jaws looking shark. So just for reference point, that's where we came in a little bit ago. Now we're heading back to uh, the Do Dodecanese. Dodecanese. I'm gonna learn to say that here one of these days. Our format today is gonna be walk this side all the way down, turn around and walk the other side. So even though we might miss some stuff on that side, we'll be back over there before the end of the day. Oh, the Parthenon, Greek restaurant. Yeah, the actual Parthenon, that was fun to see. Honestly, good call today. I think we're gonna have to make multiple trips down here. This is pretty neat. All these little stores. That Florida shirt, the Sunshine State. And here is the restaurant we're gonna try to eat at. You can see it says world famous since 1970. Do we wanna try to see if we can get our name on the list now or like see how busy it is? Well, I mean, I just wanna at least eat there. So I don't know when when is a busy time or whatever, but you can see that looks, that reminds me of, of, of Greece. Wow. Let's just see, let's just see if there's a wait or whatever. All right, just so you know, the wait's 45 minutes. They gave us a little thing, Ima Bobber, and it said it reaches a couple stores each side or out to this hut across the street. So we thought, let's go ahead and get our name on the list, check out a couple more stores, and then finally get to eat at this place, which I'm super, super excited for. I don't even know what we're gonna get either, but I, again, I'm, I'm very excited. And this looks like their bakery which might be what we have to do for yeah yeah Gloria's gifts this place this has so many stores and crossover this so that hut is where they said this thing reaches to they've got some public restrooms look at the big statue thing the little Greek soldier statue on top of the restaurant so I will say this is also, go this is gonna be an all-in-one. It's going to be a restaurant review as well as a Tarkin Springs review tour. We're gonna to walk out to the little Tiki area and I'm guessing they're waiting to go on their boat, boat Odyssey cruise. I wouldn't mind doing the deep sea fishing sometime. Get over here next to the water, manatee area. That's a nice boat over there. This might turn into a favorite town to visit. So you can see your attire is very fitting for this area. Yeah. This is this is cool. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a look at this menu they have outside. We just got buzzed, so I'm gonna try to do a video. We'll see how this works out. So here's the inside of the restaurant here. Very cool. I'm glad we get an inside seat too. Oh, look over there. Look at those designs on the wall. Cool. Thank you. I don't know, there was murals in there all over the wall up here. The bakery's right through there. And I know I already showed the menu, but here's what the actual menu looks like. Oh, they've got baklava cheesecake. You might have to try that. Famous. Huge menu. Here's the story. History of the tarpon sponge industry. So she said that we have to try a drink here, an authentic drink called, I have no idea what it is, but she said, 
She has family in Trident. My granddad would go on holiday in Greece, and that, yeah, I guess he likes that. And I get, I order it, and what's the waiter say? He goes, I'll be sure to bring you a lot of that. I am going to get the chicken savlaki. I thought about the gyro because I got both of them in Greece, but I'm really craving the chicken savlaki. And then you're going to get the veggie pita. And then I, I feel like we're going to have to try that cheesecake thing. Voted number one where the locals eat. Voted best of the bay, number one Greek restaurant. I actually saw that. We'll put a picture in of me in front of it right now. Over there on the wall, look at the Parthenon. That's really cool. It really kind of looked like that at nighttime. And then the ceiling is painted with clouds. This is a very well-themed restaurant. It really does make me feel like I'm in Greece right now. This is almost how all the restaurants looked as far as just their style. And I thought for a moment we were going to get a Greek statue, but apparently there's some cover up on the other side. So again, I think it's just the PG version of them. For a safety net, we got the sweet tea because we are really thirsty right now. Really, really thirsty. We got a water and then here's however you pronounce it. Is it bad that it's maybe like there's not a lot in it saying like Ugh. and then I'm gonna dump it in this there are two little straws so we're each gonna try it but I'm let me smell it oh it smells like black licorice oh, no. I, I was in my mind I'm thinking Beverly drink from Epcot right, right. I, I'm pretty sure it's black licorice 100% you do not like it. I can handle black licorice okay. But <laughs> Again, in my mind, I'm thinking Beverly. So this might, this might actually be all right. We'll see. Just kind of looking at the table. So something interesting in Greece was, see these bottles? I'm not sure what kind they are. I can't really read them from here. But in Greece, they would bring a big, tall bottle of water for your table whenever you ordered water. And you would use that for your water. Um, most of the time it would not cost extra because we were actually on a school trip, but I think sometimes they just give you the water and if you want an additional one, you'd be charged for the bottle of water. And then very few restaurants would actually have water in a glass like that. I thought about just trying it out of here, but there's a reason they give you a cup with ice. So I'm going to just do the non-brave. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just pour it. Pour it in there. All right, at least it's gonna be cold. All right, here we go. All right. All right. So I'm gonna do this. I don't know, I don't know what stirring's gonna do, but set my phone down, because I might need two hands for this thing. If you like black licorice and rubbing alcohol mixed together, it burns. It burns. I will say, <laughs> as far as like taste goes, I still think the Beverly drink, if you ever had that Epcot, is like, because it, it's like the bitter taste, so it's worse. But I wouldn't say this is very good if you if you catch my drift. It's, if you like black licorice and alcohol, it's gonna be your drink. If you don't like it, stick, stick to the water. All right, here goes nothing. <laughs> Get your drink ready. You can stir all you want. That's not going to do much. Did you two stir it or just one? I don't remember. Just whatever. I don't remember what I did. Not as bad as I said. It's. I wouldn't say it's good. Like I would just want to drink it. Yes. Which I don't care for. I wouldn't just sit there and drink it. Just bitter and rotten. No, no. But would you say black licorice and rubbing alcohol? I, I've never drink. I've never drunk rubbing alcohol before, so I have. And disclaimer: do not drink rubbing alcohol. <laughs> but you know when you can smell rubbing alcohol and you can do a smell with a taste. There we go. Well, that's surprising. I thought you would gag it up everywhere. Huh? All right, the food's already here. Here is the chicken sovlaki with fries. Something interesting in Greece is they almost always put the fries in whatever you ordered. So I do remember that. And then here's the veggie. Wow. All of it looks very, very good. All right, this is going to probably be pretty messy, but French fry first. 
Normal French fries. Yeah. I don't even know. That tastes pretty, pretty authentic. I have to dig into it a little more, but so far. I'm gonna try and get this on video, but they have a huge sangria looking drink right over there. I don't know what it is, but wow. Mm, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Very fresh. Mm -hmm. So they have a lot of flavors of sangrias, two of which are some of my favorite types of flavors, peach or watermelon. So I asked our waiter which he would choose, and without hesitation, he said watermelon. So got one of those coming up. We were finding out a little bit more about this drink, and he said it's what? An a, a, a parakeet. A parakeet, like we know what? A parakeet. <laughs> or a parakeet. Who knows? But I don't know if you saw. I don't. I don't know if it was in the video or not. But when we poured it over the ice, it got really cloudy. I thought we were like chemists making some sort of interesting little discovery. He said that's how you tell that they're good quality and actually taste decent is if they cloud up. If you go to a place and it doesn't cloud, then the quality's not good and you should just deny and say you don't want it. Just do some research. Uh, it, an aperitif is an alcoholic drink taken before a meal to stimulate the appetite. We are just learning all sorts of stuff. Huh. Oh, and then here's the watermelon sangria and it looks so stinking good. The drink, very good. This is what I got left in my meal. She's still working over there. Okay, here is the baklava cheesecake. I mean, here's just a, this is a pretty big fork, right? Look how massive that is. You are not messing around. You're good with a poker face. I don't know which way you're going either way, so. Good. All right, I'll be the judge of this. Here we are. So good. So good. So good. It's very good. That was extremely good. It's about as authentic as I think you're probably gonna get in Florida or the United States. Um, everything was good. So full. Just note, they kind of say like, do fries sound good or are fries okay with your meal? But they're actually extra. We we did not know that. We could have easily just shared shared just or just, or just not got it. But you know, right. oh well. You only live once, right? right? Now we're gonna continue down this Dodecanese road, street, boulevard, whatever it is. We're just gonna say Dodecanese and look at more of the shops and hopefully make it to that sponge docks. Ooh. Spice shop. They do offer a big ship, huge ship over there. They do offer trolley tours, or just I don't know if they're tours or they just pick you up, kind of. Do you know? Yeah, there's a <clears throat> there's a trolley. I just don't know what it does. And then here's a little water feature they have. We're gonna head down towards this way. I want to see what the humongous boat is protruding above this little shopping area. The Julie Ann boat. I'm not sure why it's over here. That's a pretty big boat. She made it over here by the water. Got some boats. Look at those massive homes over there. Made it to the end of that street. Now we're gonna walk back on the other side and we're trying to search to see if we can find exactly where the sponge docks are. And I think it said there's an Athens street. And since I went to Athens, Greece, I wouldn't mind going down that street. Now for the other side, I love their little Tarpon Springs, Florida, Greece little flags on their lights. Um, this place doesn't look quite as, looks like they're almost gonna do some remodeling, so. Oh, cause look, Tarpon Springs Olive Oil Company. But down here is where all the busy 
touristy stuff is. There's a map that kind of shows where everything's kind lined up. Where we are, is that what it's saying? Yeah, because here's that Dodecanese Boulevard. There you go. There's an aquarium this way. We made it all the way down. That's where we just were. Sponge Sponge so I guess maybe it's on this side of the road. Is that just all the area though? It's got it. See yeah, how it's, it's like a purplish. So sponge docks. And then there is that Athens Street right there. This is the historic district. Whoa. That may not be walking distance, so I don't know. Hmm. We found this Tarpon Springs, Florida sponge capital of the world dolphin gift shop. We're going to go check it out. Got some hanging sponges. Look at these little sponge. Almost like a basket. I'm going to say a sponge basket. Deep sea fishing is $80 all day. Hey, there's a cat over there. <laughs> there was a bunch of wild cats in Greece, so it's wild yeah, wild, wild cats everywhere. Some more sponges, Cedar Key sponge. We went to Cedar Key fishing. I'll put that video up in the corner. That was a fun time. I'd like to go back and fish. Every store got your sponges. <laughs> There's a shrimp on the Barbie. That's pretty funny. Look at this little, um, almost like a Christmas. Jesus, Morning Star, Truth, Holy One of Israel, Coming King, Redeemer, Lamb of God, Lord of all. Pretty cool. There's a ginormous sponge right up here. Ginormous. The largest vase sponge or Voss sponge ever found in the Gulf of Mexico at 40 feet depth and brought into Darpen Springs in the summer of 79. Circumference 10 foot 6 inches. Wow. They also have these fish mounts. All oh, Look how big that thing is. And then check out this barrel bench. Well, that was pretty cool to see. I'm glad we went in there. Are you going to buy a sponge today? There's possibility. I can't decide if I want the sponge soap or if I just want the lotion. I'll have to see what's in the lotion first. I think it's all like natural, isn't it? It seems to be. Maybe? Good, so I'm kind of like, the lotion probably lasts longer than the soap, but the soap has a sponge attached to it, so I'm torn. I don't know. It'll be a game time decision. Do you really want to smell like cotton Yes. Candy? What do I say every time I go by Universal? I love the smell of those cotton candy restrooms, so. Mm -hmm. 100%. On our way back towards the parking lot, there's where we ate. Again, thumbs up, so good. And now we get to check this side of the street. This looks like a pretty decent gift shop. So let's go in. Look at all the seashells. Wow. These, this really reminds, oh, real Greek statue right there. I'm not gonna zoom in, but. And then this reminds me all of it. They had all these little cool handmade in Greece. A lot of stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that is neat. Look at all these jello looking soaps again. A lot of, a lot of mugs. What is that? It's a little, you can hang it. So your little sponge can. Out. A little I sponge guess. hanger. Soaps everywhere. Birds of paradise. Oh yeah. Got some authentic grease. Looking so good. Pure olive oil. Well, it smells just like olive oil. It does. That's probably pretty good That's stuff. Pretty good stuff, huh? And I guess this is what it means when it says the sponge docks. All of these sponge. Wow. Look at that. That's pretty sweet. Got a full load of sponges that they're cleaning off. I tried to read a little bit about it because I don't really know anything about sponges, but I guess they dive down and they cut it off and then it grows back. So it's kind of a renewable um, resource. resource. Yeah. They said, however, it, obviously it can be depleted. So it's not like this constant always going thing. So there's regulations on it, but huh. I didn't know that. It's cool to see all of these boats, all these sponge boats. In memory of the spongers of Tarpon Springs. 
This was the little area we went in earlier. See, oh, that it's a, uh, what, this right here? Scuba. Like a scuba helmet. Look at all these boats. There's the lorry, so we'll have to swing in there and get something. I'd say go back. Go back, come back, go, okay. Hold that thought. We're gonna continue down this road. Swing back over, I think head that way, because that looks, that looks pretty nice too. Here was that sponge smiley that we crossed earlier. Good pick opportunity. We're actually gonna walk back this way and go ahead and cross because it looks like we already pretty much walked by all that other stuff and it, really the main shops start here. So sponge diver supply, we're gonna stop in. Oh, it smells delicious. Up here they've got a little snowman sponge with Christmas trees and a reindeer all made out of sponge. So this is how they grow in the water and they trim them down and then grow in the sunlight five inches a year. We're gonna try this here. It's like squishy. Squishy. It's going with the Oh yeah, you can already feel it. Yeah? What does it do? It's very soft. Oh. Oh, wow. That's nice. That's neat. That was really cool. So the Sponge Diver Supply is a family-owned business. I believe this is their boat here. So they go down... St. Nicholas Boat Lines. Is that theirs then? I imagine he said that... Right out there. there, yeah. So they go down and they get their own sponges and he was very helpful. Oh, we got yeah. to... I couldn't... He was talking in there so I didn't really say much when we were doing the video, but... We put the sponge in the water because it's the highest quality sponge you can get because he said... It's selling in like Milan. Yeah, because the, in this area, what the, it's... They go very slowly. Which, which is, is what you And get. clear water, right? Like, yeah, he said when it's dark, water. I thought the... Because it prohibits the sunlight from getting gotcha. to that and making them go too Yeah. Quickly. And because of that, there's some of the highest quality sponges around. So when we dipped it in the water, it turned like my hand's soft right now. Yeah, it literally feels like I put lotion on my hand and all we did was put the sponge in. And he said they never mold yeah, or bacteria. bacteria. Live on it. So we got one that was the bath one. And then you got one that was like a face, like a face like a one. one. Yep. And he was in there and he cuts them up because sometimes they're too large to use. You have to harvest them at a certain, like they have regulations. On Five inches, camp. right? Yeah, you can't cut them any smaller than that. So they harvest the bigger sizes and they cut them to whatever size they want to sell. Yeah, it was very, he was very helpful. So if you're ever in town, stop by the Sponge Diver Supply. Now we're going to go down the side street. Is this? Yes, it's uh -huh. Athens. Yes, 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 yes. All right. This really makes me want to go back to Greece. We got to start planning. We got to do it. We just got to go. Came across this Agora is what I'm going to say. Is that probably correct? Food market and it does have olive oil. So I'm curious to see just kind of some restaurants down this way. So we're going to turn back around, go to the lorries. And that's probably going to be, I think that'll be it for today. What a fun day. We are for sure going to have to come back and see what kind of events they have down here too. Yeah. Looks like piano keys. Oh, that is funny. That is so cool. Now I'm not going to film back at Laurie's because I already showed you it and I don't know what I'm going to get yet. So I will show you when we get it because it's probably going to be like a last second decision. All right, we got it. We got it right here. I made a decision. I got the cotton candy lotion, olive oil lotion. It's, what was it? It was like all natural, paraben free, all organic. And I chose that over the soap only because I felt like the soap would not last as long. And then, yeah, I want to smell like cotton candy. And then you went with the milk face cleanser. And they gave us the deal two for 17. So that was really nice of them. So. Looks like we had a pretty successful day at Tarpon Springs. Now heading back to the car, and this is what this area looks like that we already walked by. I will say, we probably got here right at the busiest time. Because even the restaurant, it was like 3.45 when we were done, there were, where's that? Over here? We're gonna walk over there. But even when we were done eating, there wasn't quite as bit of people in the restaurant. So looks like we're gonna go to this. <laughs> sponge doors everywhere. But the sponge-a-rama, right? We're gonna head there? 
Right over here is the Spongerama Free Exhibit Center. Ooh, we thought our trip was gonna be done, but no, no, no. And it looks like that's a picture op right, right in there. So looks like you can get your picture there. There are two doors down, free admission. Come and enjoy a free information little movie. All right, let's check it out. Free movie through there. Got some samples. A lot of sponges over there. Some more hand creams. Look at the paint roller. Grease, little pennant flags over there. Do you remember when we got a real loofah one time and the seeds were coming out of it and we we're like, what's going on? We didn't on? know what was going on. <laughs> little interesting tidbit about loofahs. Not a sponge. Good for dishes, so you can get all the grime and stuff off your dishes. See, I don't know, I have no idea. Sponges always grow on some hard and stationary. Never find one on the sandy bottom. Never harbor mold or bacteria. Wow. They always dry completely. Never retain water. Wallpapering, painting. Oh, and so here, this is what the guy was saying. That's how they, I don't know if you could hear me in the other store, but that's how they grow. And they don't necessarily like remove them, they just trim them. Yeah. So it grows back. And they have to be at least five inches all the way around. Mm -hmm. All right, there was the store. Heading to the back just to see the water. The water with a few more boats in the back. To finish off the little tour of the little, t well, you know, this is just a portion of the town. They have a historic side oh, of the yeah. town. This is just, we just did one boulevard. I think this is probably the most popular yeah. to visit. Yeah, I would agree. But there could be other, we literally just did Oh, let's go to Harper Springs. And then I looked up things to do. And, and this was, was the, the, the one the main thing. Dodecanese Street Road. Yeah, I only did it because there's a sign right there. <laughs> so I think what we're going to start doing, we've already kind of done it with like Mount Dora and stuff, but we're going to just start doing parts of different towns tours. And we got one on our radar. Got one of our radar. We will come back here and try like the historic downtown. We'll research. Research first, because this was literally, didn't have a plan this morning, woke up, what are we gonna do today? You said, well, maybe we should go to Tarpon Springs. Came to Tarpon Springs and it was, it was good, trip. successful trip. So we will check out other parts of it. And like we mentioned at the very beginning of the video, well, look at that, the original Tarpon Sponger cigars sold here. Uh, there's some tentacle of some sorts. <laughs> ah. Uh, and then as we're approaching where we parked, this was the original sponge store that... They, they got a diving out. movie here. Look at that little photo op. Wow. So we're, we are going to skip it, but that looks, that looks pretty nice. And if you can see from their sign, they've got a splash park and dog park and kayak launch. And then downtown is this way. And one more time with all this painted murals on the side of the sponge factory um but that was our trip down here thanks for thanks for coming up with it it was great food was great i want to come down and try more uh restaurants and other food and i said we'll have to look up for festivals because i bet they have yeah. special festivals but got some got a few things to try which I'm excited for uh, my hand again is just very soft <laughs> very soft just from dipping it the sponge in the water but thanks again i had a great time so that does it for today. Thanks for watching.